What is up, you fucking faggots? I'm Lucius Nottis. And I'm Boogie Chicken Buck Buck. Welcome back to Trent's Knowledge Corner, episode two. Uh, I hear you all. This one, if you already read the title, is going to be about Vore. Trent, why don't you take it off from us? Vorephilia, often shortened to Vore, is a is characterized by the erotic desire to be consumed by, or sometimes to personally consume, my favorite, another person or creature, or an erotic att- attraction to the process of eating in general. <laughs> so like Fat Albert. It's like, <laughs> it's like how Fat Albert ate his parents to become extra thick. Yeah, it's like Fat Albert, but he yeah. became a cannibal. Next time right. someone says, I'm, I, so next time you're around someone and they say, I want to be extra thick, just know, just know that uh, they're going to bore you. Since, bore f- <laughs> Since boring fantasies cannot usually be acted out in reality. What? No, they, they, they often- totally can. <laughs> Whoa! That's false information. That, I've done that, it several times. That's a war crime. I just had a unhinge my jaw, snap it off, cut it off, you know, extend my throat. Extend your throat, nice. Yeah. Uh, They are often expressed in stories or drawings shared on the internet. I thought they were going to say by little kids, they're like, look, mommy, look what I drew today. And it's like her boring her parents. Oh my god. (laughs) <laughs> Mommy, this is what I want to be when I grow up. <laughs> just her violently smashing the I want to be a vore when I grow I up. I want to be Fat Albert. She just colors herself and is black while eating the mom. <laughs> mommy, Mommy, look, I'm Fat Albert. <laughs> the fantasy usually involves the victim being swallowed whole, though occasionally the victims are chewed up and digested. Oh, no, dude, it's not vore if they're chewed up. You have to, you have to swallow them whole. There's no chewing yeah. up in vore. That's just it may or may not be included, they say. Vor fantasies are separated from sexual cannibalism because the living victim is normally swallowed all. Sometimes the consumer are human, but the but animals, dragons, and enormous snakes are also appear frequently in these fantasies. Dude, that's perfect. Because if you have a vor fetish, go into like the Amazon. And find yourself a uh, find yourself a ball python or not a ball python a um just normal python, I think. Yeah, and you get swallowed whole by those fucks. They'll strangle you and then swallow you whole. It's creepy. Yeah. It's, it's not just... creepy. It's, just, it's it's hot, man. You just need to get with the vor. The vor is all in today. Oh yeah. Yeah. I might have to go to your house and vor you. Oh, I'd be flattered. <laughs> Look how they put it. Oh, okay. Uh, Lay it on me. After that, consumption, the enlarged belly of the consumer is often described with great care. <laughs> like a child. Uh, like a child. <laughs> the, it did but, mention but that you this. always die in vor. You never survive because <laughs> it will digest you and then you get shit out. They call them vorophiles. <laughs> Oh my god. We got, Once we're done with this, we have to read the definition or the wiki for vorophiles as well. Are they like, are they like people who like... Is it like pedophiles, but they like to vore their <laughs> out little kids. Hey kids, you want some candy? Just grabs them and eats them. <laughs> <laughs> just pours them. He likes kids, but in a whole different way. <laughs> that, that sounds like a Rob Schneider movie. He's just a normal ass small town American boy. <laughs> But he's got a big secret. He's a vorophiliac. God. You like boring little children. Vorophiles. <laughs> vorophiles sometimes prefer to differentiate between soft vor and hard vor. What is that? I didn't know that. I didn't know that there was difference between softcore and hardcore vor. Maybe he's slowly putting them down your throat. No, okay, if you want to be serious about vor, I feel like, okay, first, you start off with, like, an ant. And then you go to, like, a cockroach. And then a bird. And then, like, an armadillo or a mouse. And then you go to, like, a rat. Then an armadillo. Then a person. And then a cow. And then a dragon. 
I'm not a dragon. You try to you try to vor a dragon. Freaking dragon's the last one. You gain it. See, you don't gain immunity from poison by just you know injecting malaria into you. You gotta slowly inject like small strains of it to gain an immunity. I feel like that's what vor artists do. You know, people. And I don't know how there. they're sexually attracted to this stuff. Does that mean they like get turned on every time they like swallow their food? But oh, oh, I'm swallowing. Oh. Oh, I saw the way you said that. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, I mean, if they get if they get aroused to use to them swallowing a a, a thing, a living thing. What about food? That is true, but it's not a living thing. It's already dead and chopped up. I mean, it's is really it awkward to think that how they there. love it. Your whole family's there, and you start eating some of the turkey, and you get like you just pop, you just, just it just pops off. You just get a big hard on, and then all of a sudden you take the entire uncut turkey and shove it down your gullet. Son, you're not a hardcore vor like us. Get out of the family! You're a disgrace. Oh, I'm like, uh, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, I wonder if vor files in real life like go around and like collect bugs and start swallowing them whole. I wonder. I mean, that's the only thing they could swallow whole. That's okay, living. you obviously haven't seen uh, Fat Albert and, uh, and uh, some determination. In realistic, a realistic point of you view. You obviously haven't seen Fat Albert with a heaping helping of determination. I mean, you could just, like, get a mouse, dip it in grease, and swallow that whole. But, but like, <laughs> dip it in grease? <laughs> like, <laughs> deep fried. everything in you grease. Kill it, though. You drown it in the grease vat. No, just like dip it once, like, you know? <laughs> so, hold it by its head, neck, and dip it all the way down to its neck so it can still breathe, and then just throw it in there. Oh, they would yeah. like, squirm down your throat, though, and you could feel it moving. Ugh. Well, oh, I mean, oh. they love that crap, so they want it living. But, like, uh, anything else you want to add, Trenton? Oh, yeah, yeah, tons, tons, tons. tons, tons. You got oh, tons. oh, wow, 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 okay. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. You, got, you got some time. Okay. All right, go on, share it. Vor, me Vor means the victim is swallowed whole and alive and may possibly come back out in the case of non-fatal scenario, while in hardcore, hardcore Vor, <laughs> the victim goes through a more gross and realistic digestion process. Often getting chewed up beforehand. Okay, so so we we've, we've just been seeing soft we've soft crossed war. crossed the line. We've crossed the line into hardcore war. Oh, we, we we've never seen hardcore. We've only seen soft, which is the swallow hole well, without. Speak for people. yourself. Speak for yourself, there, Bucko. <laughs> I like how they say realistic. Even though, you know, how are you going to swallow a whole person just by, like, chewing them, like, I'm three times? I'm telling you, man, give, give someone, put Fat Albert in a greased-up human being in a room, and he'll slide it down his gullet. Well, of course. Oh, my God. I need to put, like, I need to put, like, a, a, a fucking disclaimer at the beginning of this episode, like, um, don't, don't do this if you don't like talking about yeah, disgusting make stuff. Yeah, sure, you know... Don't try to vore your mom or something like that. It's not gonna end well. No, not don't vore. Just if you don't like us talking about like eating people whole, just leave. Just, just skedaddle. Don't be here anymore. Put a disclaimer on people who are actually trying to freaking vore right now. Oh. Like wow, this sounds good. interesting. Might as well go and I try mean, it out. Trying, you come here to learn more about a random Wikipedia article. So you want to come here? You learn more about vore. That's what it is. You learn more about Vor. That, that rhymes. Learn more about Vor. That should be a TV show. Just like every day for five minutes, it just gives you a little tidbit on Vor. Learn more about Vor. But anyway, yeah, is there anything else you want to add before we wrap this up, Trevor? Oh yeah, there's tons. Okay, hey, don't okay. blame me if you go and dip a mouse in grease and get scratched up in the stomach and have to go to get, get the mouse pumped out of you. Jesus Christ. Have <laughs> your stomach pumped. Alright, you got like 30 seconds left. Oof, oof, uh, oh my god. <laughs> okay, uh, Vor is most often enjoyed through pictures, stories, videos, and video games. What? Video games? Alright, keep reading, keep reading, we gotta talk about this <laughs> off screen, I think. And, and, it could, and it could appear in mainstream media. In some cases, Vorophilia may be described as a variation of macrophilia in main Alright, well, combined. that's gonna end it for Trent's Knowledge Corner. This has been Vor. Uh, I'll see you fucks later. Try and do an outro if you want.
You all, I hope you die and please don't war.